Davy. How you doing? About as good as can be expected. But the news is not good. I don't know what you're talking about. I know you did that fucking jewelry job. Davy, seriously, you're imagining things. Fuck you. All right. I did it. Arrest me. You know what? You'll be saving my life. Because you called it, motherfucker. What? You called it. Trevor. A couple days ago. But we haven't really talked about anything either. But if, no, when, he starts asking questions about why you're not feeding worms south of the Canadian border. Oh, we got problems. Yeah, no shit. <sighs> We're in it. Together. So, if your problems are my problems, then I guess that means that my problems are sort of your problems. <laughs> uh-uh. Nope. What if I lose my job? Someone comes into my office, starts reading my files. They'll see the things I did. I know a lot of stuff. I can cop a plea, get five years, but you... Fuck you, you ungrateful prick. I made your career. Well... And we better go about saving it together, because you and I both know we can't let it go to shit now. What do you need? This guy, Ferdinand Karamov. The agency claims he's dead. We at the Bureau think they're full of crap. We think he's being debriefed someplace. So? Apparently. He has information which will put me and my superiors out of circulation. Those agency fuckers have got the coroner's office locked down. We need you to verify the body. So how the hell am I gonna get in here? Well, you've played dead before, haven't you? I have always kind of liked you. Call me when you wake up. I'll tell you what to do. What we got? Uh, John Doe, white male, overweight, in his late 40s, possible coroner. Let's take a peek. The fat deposits on his hips and abdomen suggest a fondness for bleeder burgers. We're probably about to find one in his gut, still in its wrapper. Right next to the bottle of scotch and pack of redwoods. See the broken capillaries around the nose? Ah! Oh, Jesus! Ah! Back from the dead, ah! motherfucker! Ah! Ah! Come out! Hands in the air! Come on. Might be in the other room. Come on. Out of there! That don't look right. Guess you can't judge a corpse by its toe tag. I found the toe tag. Ferdinand Karamov. It's on some big black lady. Definitely not your guy. Okay. The agency have the lower floors on lockdown to prevent a leak. I got a guy who can cut the power to give you some help, but you'll have to get upstairs if you're gonna get out. Hey, stop! Put your hands... Oh. Ah. Ah.
but I want the fuck out. Once today, But I want the fuck out!
Requesting backup for a possible national security threat at Strawberry Corner's office. Suspect is a white male adult. Oh. 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 Sorry! Not really! Hey, Mike. F. Hey, we need to talk. Quick, meet me at those oil derricks just outside town, El Burro Heights. And make sure you're not tailed. Man, that don't sound too good, homie. Look, I'm on my way. Dave, the hell was that? You know how many spooks I just ran into? I'm sorry. They're not nice people, if that's a consolation. What's going on? There's a big target out there. Something in the shadows. The data algorithms are reading off the charts. Whoever finds it, the Bureau or the agency, is gonna get a big bump in funding. Like I care about your funding. I'm out, Dave. You're not. I need you to meet my boss. We'll be downtown, in the plaza between the FIB and the IAA buildings. The IAA building. 
You fucking kidding me after the spat I just had with those agency men? Relax. They won't be looking there. They never expect an inside job. Franklin, what's going on? You gotta get out of town. Man, I ain't exactly got nowhere to go. Well, then take a trip. A long trip. What the fuck is going on? Things, all right? Look, you remember I told you I know people? Feds who looked after me when I retired? You did? Yeah, I did. I mean, I think I did. I don't know. Shit, Jesus Christ, Franklin. I got so many stories, I can't even keep them straight. I'm full of shit. Yeah, but your full of shit got me a lot of paper. One score with you, I made more money than I ever did hustling. Oh, yeah, I mean, I'm a great thief, but you know, it's the other shit that I ain't got figured out. So what's the deal, man? What's the deal with the Bureau, man? This clown, I mean, he's an okay guy, fucking cocksucker. We did a deal a long time ago. Didn't go quite the way it was supposed to go. Wrong guy got killed. So I had to go into kind of a, an informal witness protection program. He helped me. I didn't reveal secrets of his. And everything was cool. The problem started when recently I became unretired. I mean, he shows up, starts calling in favors, telling me to do shit. I mean, look, Franklin, I'm working for the fucking feds. Oh, fuck, man. Oh, fuck, man, yeah, and that ain't even the worst part. <sighs> Did I ever tell you about Trevor? Hmm? Uh, man, I, I think so, shit. Well, if you only think so, then I wasn't being completely honest. He's, I don't, hell walking on Earth. That's what he is. Well, let's bury this motherfucker. Oh, yeah, good luck with that. Shit. I mean, Trevor and I got history. Complicated fucking history. Look, I've done a lot of things that I ain't proud of. Okay, I never claimed to be an angel. But you meet Trevor Franklin, you'll swear I am an angel. So what's the mood here, man? I don't know. Fuck. I'm just gonna, you know, try to play both sides. You know, until I can find a way out of this shit. All right, man, look, man, you help me. The way I see it, man, the least I can do is help you. It's a death sentence, Franklin. Man, I, I, I ain't trying to hear all that shit, man. If the Bureau ain't gonna take you to court, them motherfuckers just hustlers anyway. And I ain't finna let no motherfucking cat think he's so motherfucking crazy run me up a tree. Fuck that. Hey, you're a good kid, Franklin. This means a lot to me. Like I told you, I'm a terrific thief. I'll find something for you. Big. Now come on. You better take off. All right, man. I'm with you. I'm with you. Hey, Trace, what's up? What's up? Are you joking? You ruined my life! I did? I thought I'd already ruined your life. Remember after that both night? Take this seriously! Do you know how bad I wanted that? Fame or shame is like an amazing opportunity! You're such a fucking fuck, you really are! You'll get over it. 
You'll see. I did you a favor. Never! I hate you! Hey, Michael. David. Well, isn't this nice? You didn't tell me we were double dating. Sorry, guys. This bar and hunk of love is all mine. <laughs> Brilliant! Steve Haynes, amigo, but you probably knew that already. Sorry, your name tag must have fallen off. Oh, duh! I love it! I, I gotta remember to write that down. <laughs> and to shoot you in your head, you annoying dick. <laughs> Andreas, taking notes? This stuff? Whoa! Pure magic. I should put it on my show. Have you seen my show? You mean how to dress like a salesman on a cheap golf weekend at a third-rate country club? <laughs> so, well done with our uh, our friend, Mr. K. My pleasure. Uh, I love helping our government wage war, especially with itself. But you made a mistake. Did I, Cupcake? Why don't you keep your fucking voice down before I close your fucking windpipe? The joke stopped now, pal. You will show me and my team some respect. Maybe you could define team for me. Is that just the three of you? Or the greater FIB? Or the entire government? Because I'm tempted to argue that thus far, we haven't shown a lot of your colleagues a whole lot of respect. Then why don't you start with me, genius? You got it, pal. We have received intel that they're keeping Mr. K at the local agency station. I just dealt with that guy. The agency is stepping up their questioning because of your moronic antics down at the coroner's office. We need to get him out of there before he blabs. I did what Agent Norton said. Then I guess you getting involved with a clapped out old agent who's been living off of past glories was your first mistake. You are my boy now, amigo. Huh. My career depends on this. And that's very important to me. So seeing as we're all boys now, that makes it important to you. Now run along, kids. See, there you go, Dave. You can't teach an old dog new tricks. Come on. The Bureau owns a lot out in East L.S., Covington Supplies off El Rancho. Can you take us there? Yeah, sure. Sounds nice and secluded. Kind of place you'd run an off-the-books operation, huh? So what? So I bet Federal ain't on the deed. That's so. And we all like our federal government open and transparent. Except when closed and opaque suits you better. Hey, I'm just a puppet. You're the one pulling the strings.
Nice car. Taxpayers treating you right. I need you to make a couple of calls. Get some people on board. First guy is Franklin Clinton. Hey, I barely know that kid. He's fixing up my car. Call him, or we'll send some G-men to his aunt's house. Okay. Okay. Michael, this ain't the best time. I'm kind of busy. Hey, sorry about that. Listen, you know that thing we talked about before? It's happening. I need you to come to a lot off El Rancho, not far from where we met before. All right, that's cool. I'm in LS anyway. Now, Trevor Phillips. Oh, you're crazy. I ain't calling him. I thought you might say that, so we had him picked up. That's a dumb move, Dave. Real fucking dumb. Just worry about the plan, okay? Getting Mr. K out of the IAA station. Clinton is going to be positioned across the street, keeping an eye on the proceedings. Phillips flies you in, you rappel down, make the extraction. And I'm the best guy you got for this. With you, we've got good leverage. Great. And you brought Trevor in. We're telling him I'm all cozy with the F5B. You'll need discreet support. We'll maintain control of the situation. Discreet? Control? Yeah, good luck controlling discreet Trevor. Yeah, I wonder how controllable and discreet he'll be when he sees the guy who killed me and put Brad in jail. Maybe I'll hang back. Yeah, that might be a good idea. You better keep a low profile. Yeah, I think I will. See you later. Who's that cagey motherfucker, huh? No, it's another cagey motherfucker, all right? Not you! Hey, T, enough with the faux political bullshit. <sighs> Franklin, come on, you better take off. Really. Shit, I'm good. I ain't Bill. Whoa. What, am I detecting some, uh, some sort of, uh, son I never had bullshit here, Mikey, huh? Hey, listen, if you want to replace some father figure, you can do a lot better than this fat snake, all right? This fucker would eat his own kids. Like I said, Franklin, deranged. Yeah, and best friend. <laughs> exactly. That's Trevor, my best friend. That's Franklin, the son I always wanted. All right, guys, listen, this is the shot. I'm gonna do all the heavy lifting on this job, okay? Trevor, all I need you to do is fly me to the target. Franklin, you're gonna cover me from across the street. We're gonna make these assholes happy, and we're gonna walk away from this thing clean. Got it? I got you. All right. And we do this, and they help us spring Brad, right? Yeah. We'll talk about Brad later, all right? I gotta change. You better grab a head start. Nice to meet you, homie. Yeah, whatever. <sighs> The government gimp at last. Eh, yeah, bite me. Let's go. <sighs> All right, let's do this thing. We need to go to the agency headquarters downtown. Your new friends are a riot. No wonder you said sayonara to the old crew. Walking away ain't easy, Trev. Sometimes I guess you gotta make compromises. What happened to dying with a gun in your hand? Life happened. Annoying wife, two kids. Remember them? You get tied down, you can't move anymore. What about your ties to me? To Brad? Those ties are why you got roped in on this FIB instigated suicide pact. For as long as it keeps me amused, I am. I ain't exactly sure it's gonna be amusing. We'll see. You know, you had me at suicide pack. The access point is on the west side of the tower. Get us in position so I can rappel down.
can't go in through the roof. Get us out toward the wall. You fuck around while I'm out there, I'll climb back up this rope and strangle you with it! Yeah! Next, I'll have this thing so far up your ass, your tonsils will be playing shadow puppets. You think we can't do that? We can. It's in our guidelines. I don't know what you're talking about. I install cinema equipment, not surveillance. Grab his other arm. No, 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 no. You think you're impenetrable? See how you feel when this is 18 no. inches deep inside. No. Get the lube. Actually, no, no. Who the fuck is this? Terminate him. Close this problem right now. Yeah, I can use a little backup here. Get me the station, Chief. 36 flow. I got you. Hey, it's high value. You can it. Hey, here's the Wait. Hey, call out. Slow down. Room clear, G! Hit the witch! Get us out! They're tracking the asset! Help! Shots are coming from across the street! Don't look at Rappi! Don't touch Rappi! Hey! Watch 
He's more of a protege. Yeah, what, you gonna teach him to be old before his time? Yeah, to never grow up. That seems like a good kid. Huh? Michael, uh, look at this, huh? New city, new set of problems, but the idiots, uh, they stay the same. Yep, I guess. All right, Trevor, I'll see you later. Oh, you better believe it, buddy.
You got lucky, buddy. What is wrong with you smoking in my house? You know, ever since that psychotic pal of yours turned up, you've turned into an even bigger asshole. Thank you. Your support in my difficult times means the world to me. I've supported you. I left everything to come here with you, and still, that crazy bastard turns up. I'll handle it. How? I don't know. Oh, you know what? Just keep him away from me and the children, you low-life, whoremongering asswipe. Did someone say yoga? No, I think she said whoremongering asswipe. Hello, Fabian, darling. <laughs> Namaste, Amanda. Are we ready to practice? Yes. Oh, yes, yeah, she's very centered. A regular you oasis of peace and tranquility, this with one. anger issues and worse friends. No you... wonder I'm so upset. You too, please. Namaste. We practice. Miguel, join us, please. No, please, no. No, no. The yoga is for sharing. Come, come, Miguel, come. Awesome. So, Fab, if you can make me as happy and mellow as my wife, it'll be a job well fucking done. We are all on our own journeys, Miguel. Yeah, no doubts. So why is she driving a tank on hers? Perhaps to deal with your hostility, Michael. Now, here is good. We have the sun and the moribunda. The asshole. Now we begin to put the asshole to the earth. Yes, we begin each sequence. Katasana. Yes. Or mountain pose. All right. One, two, three. Mouth and anus are perfectly in line. Show him, Amanda. Un, deux, trois. It is perfect. Now, Michael. I don't know about this. In the nose, out the mouth. Let it out, baby. That is okay. Air through the nose and out the mouth. Out through those wrinkled lips. Maintain it. In and out with the breath, Mikhail. Feel all that hostility, insecurity, and self centeredness drift away. This is gonna have to do. Now we will do something more complicated. Sometimes, when I do this pose, I weep uncontrollably for hours. Oh, wow. <laughs> you feel that? The emotion inside? Let it go. Michael, join us. 
I feel like I'm channeling bullshit right now. Now, you breathe. Out through the mouth. How many years of marriage, and this is the first time he's taken an interest in my hobbies? Breathe, Mikkel. Now think of all the strippers who've been over to pick up your dollar bills. You can breathe, can't you? Out through the mouth. Later you can show a stripper how flexible you are. The silly man forgets to breathe. Tight! Tighter! Yeah, I'm about to feel some emotions, all right. Remember, children, do not fear the unknown. We are the unknown. Show us, Amanda. I don't think Michael's up to this. Hmm. He may surprise you. Plank. Plank. Chaturanga. Chata. Yeah. Feel the flow. Mm. Everything mm. is flowing in me. <sighs> Mike, would you? <laughs> I hope there is time for yoga to save you. Breathing is almost the most important thing, no? Breathe out, please. We might be about to witness the first yoga-induced heart attack. Your lungs, they work, yes? Hold the anus. Take in the air and release it. Let it out. You're turning red. If it's too much, just go into child's pose. Breathe, please, Michael. <sighs> Fabian's body with your bank account would be the perfect man. Why don't you ask Fabian here what he thinks of your furs? He's like a balloon animal. Prove you are not as pathetic as you look. Breathing is almost the most important thing, no? Let it out. Your lungs, they work, yes? Tell me you don't feel centered. Take in the air and release it. Exhale. For a meat eater, it's okay. Breathe, please, Michael. Can you wash that mat later? It's gonna smell all bloody and smoky and michael -y. Breathing is almost the most important thing, no? Lengthen. Strengthen. <laughs> hey, yoga fuck. You ever tried baseball? Your core. It is rotten, no? Transcendence is attainable. Your lungs, they work, yes? Out with the breath. Not bad. Take in the air and release it. Okay. Breathe, please, Michael. Out through those wrinkled lips. If you'd found yoga before, you wouldn't have been that way with Coach. <sighs> the backward eye between your thigh. Breathing is almost the most important thing, no? Out through the mouth. Your inner eye. Your lungs, they work, yes? Good! Put 
the Luna to the face. Take in the air and release it. Breathe out, please. Ah, I'm gonna get a fucking hernia doing this. The end is in sight. Just hold it together. Um. Breathe, please, Michael. This is what I was talking about. Can't you see how blocked he is? Breathing is almost the most important thing, no? Just exhale, Michael. There. Your lungs, they work, yes? Can you thank us now for saving you from the couch? This is not how it is done. A sliver of enlightenment is not far away. Take in the air and release it. Very good. Now let it go. Breathe, please, Michael. When we met, he was actually limber. Hold your anus strong, my child. We're nearly there, Michael. Come on. You are a consumer of pornography, aren't you? Breathing is almost the most important thing, no? Let it out, baby. No vanity. Come on. Your lungs, they work, yes? Strong inhale. Ah, shit. Oh, Mikhail. Be present, please. Take in the air and release it. We need to talk to the kids about having a family session. Breathe, please, Michael. Let it out. Your aura is just like, wow. Breathing is almost the most important thing, no? Exhale. Now if you could just get Trevor on a yoga mat. <laughs> you have come a long way today, Mikael. Huh? Yes, later you will cry like a baby. Yeah, right. His chakras are completely blocked. Don't worry about him. Show me the downward dog. I'm glad we have helped with your impotence, Mikael. What'd you say? Your sexual energies have been blocked for too long. Back into my pelvis. Back. What? Back, back. Yes, there you go. Uh, oh, mm, oh, 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 oh! What? Hey, enough of that! We can... ah! <laughs> Yoga is the answer, Mikael. But what is the question? Uh, why am I such a moron? We are leaving and we are never coming back! Good! You are alone, you pathetic psychopath! Ugh, fuck you! Hand it! Bony! French! Fucking Yogi! Ah! Jimmy! You still here? James! Leave me alone! Oh, yeah. Fuck you. You know what? If there was a...
Nice TV. Did I pay for that? Yeah, you smashed the other one, didn't you? All right, come on. I want to go for a ride. I got to meet a friend. All right, so I'll go meet him with you. Come on, I want to get out of the house. I'm not going alone. Come on. This is fucking bullshit. Bullshit? Threatening to molest your online buddies is bullshit. They're not my buddies. They're the only people you speak to. So where's your friend? Burger shot. Yeah, nice to see the kids are still hanging out at the burger joints. Me and the guys, we'd go down to the diner after class every day. You know, get milkshakes, fries. Ew, please. You know, you're really creeping me out. I'm trying to relate to you. No, you're trying to take me on some nostalgia trip. You're such a cliche. Oh, says the dope-smoking, game-playing, live-at-home world owes him a living millennial. I knew it. I knew it. The mask was gonna slip. The monster's been exposed. The hell are you talking about? The real you. That bitter, vindictive old man. You pretend you're being a father, but you hate me, don't you? I don't hate you, Jim. How many times... I love you. Look, I'm sorry if I don't express that correctly. But why do you think we're here together? Because you're scared shitless of being alone? Oh, now you're an armchair psychologist. Just like the rest of this city. You really have to meet my friend? Yeah, I really do. Then please don't get weird. For once in your life, don't be weird. <laughs> Yo, oh, brother man, what's, <laughs> what's up? What's, what's up, man? Good to see you. What are you, turning tricks to pay for this shit, huh? Hey, who's the old man? It's my dad. Oh, all right, Mr. DeSanto. <laughs> yeah, you the kid selling Jimmy pot by the pound? <laughs> Ah, Jimmy, bro, your dad's funny, man. Come on, do this shit and let's get going. Oh, yeah, you, you got that other thing? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, man, what the fuck? Jimmy! Just, just hold on a second. Oh, all right, all right, later on. Careful with that. Hey, let's bounce. Bounce. We're bouncing now. Is that what we're doing? Jesus fucking Christ. All righty, then. Now what? Can we just get back to the house, please? So, uh, want a drink? I'm driving. Because normally you're such a between-the-white-lines, friend-to-the-pedestrian kind of guy. Fine. Give it here. Maybe when we get home. Ah, who's the square now? <laughs> I'm starting to feel a little woozy. You're fine. No. Really, this is not... Oh, you're just paranoid. Not paranoia. This is totally justified <laughs> concern. You should see yourself. Stop moaning and drive back. Also, I took money from your bank account and I'm moving out. What? All right, you're too crazy, Dad. Goodbye. Jimmy! Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I'm home! Anyone here? Kids? Tracy? Trace? Michael, I think you finally lost your mind. Your recent behavior and the company you've been keeping already had me very concerned. Now you've taken to attacking my Fabian, who was a close friend, and then Jimmy said you took drugs while driving him in your car. Well, we've decided to move out for a while. You promised me you'd change, and you haven't changed a bit. I know you say I always act like I'm in a movie. Well, this isn't that. I think I'm gonna speak to a lawyer. I'm just really confused. Please, don't try to contact us and try not to get yourself killed. Amanda. <laughs> <laughs> 